Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. A manhunt is underway for 26-year-old Kyle Clifford after three women were found dead this morning at a house in Bushy, near Watford. Clifford, who is currently on the run, is suspected of triple murder and police have warned he may be in possession of a crossbow and considered him armed and dangerous. A former top Met detective has said the police are more than likely suggesting a crossbow was the weapon involved in the killings, leading to questions about the legality of such weapons and how the suspect was able to obtain one. Yet despite the danger posed by such weapons, crossbows have a complex legal status in the UK falling into a gray area somewhere between both archery and firearm laws. Under the Crossbows Act 1987, it is legal to purchase a crossbow in the United Kingdom and no license is required to own one, although possession is prohibited for those under 18 except under adult supervision. However, it is illegal to carry one in public without a reasonable excuse, with offenders potentially facing up to four years behind bars. It is considered unlawful to hunt live quarry with either a crossbow or a bow and arrow under the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. In Scotland, Section 50 of the Civic Government, Scotland, Act 1982 also makes it illegal to be drunk in a public place in possession of a crossbow. Following a series of high-profile cases, the previous government had considered tightening the laws around crossbows after would-be assassin Jusvant Singh Chael was encouraged by an AI chatbot to break into Windsor Castle on Christmas Day 2021 with a loaded crossbow to kill the late Queen Elizabeth. Former Home Secretary Preeti Patel ordered the review of crossbow rules in order to step up action to prevent violence on our streets, and floated the idea of introducing a license system and police checks for those attempting to buy the weapons just like when someone buys a gun. Following Chael's sentencing, former safeguarding minister Laura Ferris said, crossbows are used rarely in violent crime in this country, but they can be highly dangerous. We're doing all we can to ensure we have the appropriate measures in place against any risks these potentially dangerous weapons may pose. I encourage the public and those in the industry to come forward to share their views so we can have the most accurate picture and take any necessary action to keep our streets safe. Get in touch with our news team by emailing us at webnews at metro.co.uk. For more stories like this, check our news page. More, living God accused of rape claims his miracles were just magic tricks. More, flight attendant, 28, charged with trying to kill herself after facing abuse. More, five mysteries surrounding Jay Slater's disappearance as family claim everything stinks. Privacy policy.